Good morning. Um, always told Bronnie that uh, I would show her the world. So we're on our way to Wix. So I think the first job this morning is to uh, brush my hair, uh, have a cup of coffee and then crack on. So as you can see the uh, the back of the van looks like a building site. Um, went down and bought some lumber. It is... Uh, we went to Wix originally and um, I've got to say that the uh, the customer service was absolutely zero so I ended up going to um, being in queue where the service was actually great so but that's only Swansea I can't talk for anywhere else um, we have started on the insulation and up in the roof and places you can see from the foam that that's not completed there was a good reason for that actually if you put in foam in it goes absolutely everywhere it is easier to do a bit at a time and uh, just let a little bit of it settle and then move on so we started buying some some of the lumber for the construction now it does you would think that um, without the insulation um, at the bottom part we're going to concentrate on this side today at the bottom at the back where the garage is um, reason for that is because that's not going to be tongue and groove that's going to be board and I want to get the battery box built at some point so that's our next move um, wiring there is going to be a little bit of a change in the wiring um, I just feel it's easier to come from a different direction so that's that really um, but I have been buying all week. That's the thing. I've been, I mean, 300 quid down at uh, B&Q and Wix yesterday. And uh, quite a few parcels have arrived. Let me show you. You're going to have to excuse the mess, but the backyard's like a building yard at the moment. This um, is the new water tank. That's going to be under slung. And then a <coughs> uh, water pump has arrived. New river gun. I've had a river gun for years, and um, or not river to for years, probably used it about twice. And then when I went to look at it, it was uh, I remembered that I'd broken it the last time, so I bought a better one. Um, some lights for the ceiling, some vents for the battery box, uh, rubber grommets, and cable tie things. Now, if you ever fancy giving yourself a hernia, get yourself a 260 amp hour battery that's uh, all very good and then in that brown box there there's a gas locker uh, that was from Gaslow um, 170 odd quid I've got to say a bit disappointed in truth for for that amount of money some extra wool some some other silver foil that's uh, going to be starting on the vapor barrier so uh, really hot today and uh, we have managed to, um, we've riv nutted, uh, can you see it in there? All right, riv nutted the angle iron all the way down there. That's where the bed's going to go. We're going to put the um, vapor barrier behind there and then paint this board up tonight. That's going to be the one side. The other side will be more foam in the edges there. Just doing a bit of a time because otherwise it just falls all over the place. What you might have noticed though is that all the wires are gone so what I've done is I've pulled out the wires and uh, we're going to reroute them so just decided on a different route and the main reason for that is the battery the 300 and, uh, sorry 260 amp hour battery it is so heavy so whilst the battery was going here on the end here we're now moving it out to, because all of that is going to be garage it's going to be up by the wheel arch, so trying to distribute the weight a lot more. Um, so the the wires coming into this corner were no good. Um, otherwise they'd been going across, down and back across again, which seemed a bit silly. So they're going to be rerouted down that wall there. Um, and tonight we're going to go and uh, undercoat this, and undercoat, there's a few bits of wood that we need to undercoat and 
just sort of prep up and we'll see what uh, the rest of the day brings. So Bronnie's been painting one of the side panels for the uh, in the garage part and then that uh, two by two that's going above the angle iron to uh, hold the bed and uh, we're just concentrating on the one side today and then uh, hopefully get the other side done next week we're also going to do a lot of soldering on the uh, the wires before they go back in so that all the uh, soldering's done rather than in an awkward position just do them at a, a bench in the garden that I've set up for my father and he can do that for me he's uh, good at that type of thing and uh, hopefully that will be that sorted by next weekend and the other side of this sorted all the insulation should be finished then and com totally completed <laughs> Well, good morning. Just arrived uh, at the car park um, where I park my car for work and it's Monday morning already. Incredibly so. The weekend has just flown by. In truth, didn't get as much done as I would have hoped, although we were at it um, all weekend and uh, at the van build all weekend. Um, the undercoat on the side panels took a lot longer to dry than I would have envisaged I was hoping that we'd be able to do two undercoats and a top coat but we hadn't realized the time when we started that so um, that's a, a no-go had a bit of an accident with the undercoat which took absolutely ages to clear up but it luckily because we were straight on it it's all gone and done and dusted um, but it did take it took ages um, so that's that. We are moving on. We're moving on slowly, uh, but surely. And uh, I think I've worked out now where the re rewiring is going to take place. So that will all be, uh, it's fairly clear cut now. Now that we've started, perhaps I shouldn't have wired the van in thinking, oh, this is where everything's going to go. Um, but it was a good time to take it all out because nothing was plugged in. There was no walls to, to negotiate. So it was a good time to sort of get that wrong. The reason our things are taking so long is because I am by no means a professional, but I am a perfectionist. And um, I do things very, very slowly, bit by bit, and then hopefully it will turn out okay. Um, when I say perfectionist, I mean, I'm not, uh, not anal or anything about it but you know I do like to get it right but as I said if you're not a professional you know they say measure twice and cut once well I'm measuring five or six times and cutting once and then um, you know thinking about it five or six times as well on top of that um, and I, I think for me that's the best way to go just slowly and surely we're not in a rush um, but we did progress and uh, that, that's that's a good thing so the one bottom side of the panel needs to be just finished off, but not much to do on that. Um, next weekend, Dad's coming down, so he's going to do some soldering for me on the wires. Now that they're out, he can sit in the garden. At, uh, I'll get a bench sorted out for him in the garden. He can do some soldering, and then what I'll do is I'll uh, rip up the other side of the bed frame um, and get that sorted. And hopefully the, the back ends will be uh, matching by then. Um, so that's it. Hope to see you next time. Remember to play nicely and share all your toys.